okay hey guys so today i'm going to be demonstrating how to do goddess locks but a more slim sized like the the normal ones you would see on people so because i did a jumbo one here and this tutorial should be out already but now i'm showing you how to do a slimmer version with my mannequin i know she's not the most attractive but it doesn't matter it's all about the hair so yeah to start off, you're going to section quite a small piece of hair. So the part in should be quite small, like so. And then you're going to take your curly hair. People usually use looser textures. You can use um, tighter textures, sorry, tighter curl patterns. It's up to use your choice. I'm going to use this Island Curls by Trendy Tresses. The reason why it's ombre is because this pack was already open and I didn't want to open up a fresh pack for demonstration purposes so yeah and i think it will be easier for you guys to kind of see the style properly or see my demonstration properly because it's two different colors anyway so yeah what you're going to do is take um a smallish size medium size -ish size like this okay then you're going to start braiding it onto this i do have a tutorial on how to braid um with extension and i'll link it for you guys below if you need to know so I'm going to start braiding it on. You don't want the um, root to be tight. I'll show you guys in a second why. Because when we wrap, it becomes really tight. So as you can see, that is not tight at all. At all. So you're just going to braid it close to the end or as much as you want the curly ends to show. If you don't want to show that much, then braid it quite near to the end. If you want it to show more, then leave it maybe just after halfway or just after your hair ends. So I'm just going to play it close to the end. to see the plait so the plait could look messy as whatever it doesn't really So this is how much of the curly hair will be left at the end of our lock. Okay, so this is what our plait looks like thus far. I'm going to take just one um, piece of hair. This is faux fro from Trendy Tresses. I'm going to take one piece, I'm going to split it into half like so. And then I'm going to make sure that my ends are not blunt. Then what you're going, sorry, this is how it should look by the way. That's my ends. Cool. What you're going to do now is you're going to take the piece of plait, the piece of plait, you're going to take the plait, you're going to put this hair over the top of it and make sure that it's the same amount on each side. So it's quite a level amount on each side. You're going to grab the hair from the top with your left hand then you're just going to take this strand and begin to wrap it. Literally, that's the trick to creating the lock. You're just wrapping it all the way down. And you might feel that, oh my gosh, this is taking long, but obviously 
the more accustomed or the more used to you get used to doing this the quicker it will be to do so as you wrap you go down so naturally just move this hand down as you wrap it try to not go over the um, same piece of hair more than once otherwise it begins to the actual lock begins to look uneven but at the same time try to not leave any gaps I left a little gap there just to show you guys what it looks like when you leave a gap and it doesn't look good so don't leave any gaps when you're doing it just be consistent with it piece that we left before and then you're just going to continue very 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 last thin parts like this you're just gonna wrap it back upwards I know there's not really much hair but generally wrap the hair upwards so that it can be more sturdy but this is gonna stay put regardless so that's what it will look like and that's what our end will look like now what you're going to do the next step which I like to do and I'm just going to take the hair between my palms and then rub them together going downwards like I'm starting the fire this just helps the lock to be more smooth and just to keep it in place a little bit more let's do it all the way down make sure you really emphasize this on the end so the ends can be nice and sturdy Obviously this will look better with black hair, but this is how the curly bit will look like. So this would be our Jumbo Goddess Lock and this would be the slimmer one. And then that's how they would both look at the ends as well. That's the skinny one. This is the thicker one. So yeah, watch out my, for my tutorial on how to achieve this one. I'll link it for you guys 
Um, but yeah, I hope that helped and let me know if you have any other tutorial requests. Thank you.